What's up and welcome to Ayla and Tonette's Love Talks. We are your hosts, Ayla and Tonette. In today's episode, we will talk about the various stages of a couple's relationship, including the different issues confronted before entering and during the vocation of marriage. We'll be discussing the ins and outs of this topic with one of the chosen stories and experiences that were uploaded by users to our online platform and offer listeners our thoughts that may be deemed as helpful at the moment and in the future. At this time, the selected story that will be featured is from user Love Peace. Wow! I heard that they've been married for 25 years. In this day and age, having this kind of enduring marriage might seem like a rare thing since a lot of marriages end in divorce. I wonder how they were able to stay by each other's side for that long. Well, we'll get to know more about them later on, so be sure to listen all the way through for the details. Ayla and Tonette's Love Talks is sponsored by Love Conquers All. Love Conquers All is a company that advocates establishing and developing relationships within proper context for a God-centered and righteous marriage of future partners. Hey guys, we're back and we're ready to tell you about our selected couple, Mr. Rick Garcia and Mrs. Christy Fernandez Garcia, who has been married for 25 years. Here is Ila to give us a summary of their story. Thank you, Tonette. They met when they were in college during a get-together with friends. They didn't interact at all during that get-together. Still, Rick found Christy interesting. Because of that, he followed her, grabbing every opportunity to talk or interact with Christy. Even so, he was initially rejected and they only started dating after graduating college, where seven years later, they got engaged. As a married couple, Christy and Rick had one child. We decided to mention this first since courtship, dating, and engagement stages serve as preparatory stages for two persons before entering into marriage. It is important for two people to get to know each other first and determine or evaluate if they are still interested with each other. During these stages, both of you will also get to know each other's friends and family. So what if you realize that both of you are not compatible or you're not interested anymore? It is okay to end the relationship. It is important to note that marriage must be an intention in mind already, but courtship, Dating or engagement don't guarantee that you'll get married in the end because the exact purpose of these stages is to find the partner that you would spend the rest of your life with. Therefore, you need someone who not only you love and respect but you can also successfully cooperate with. Let us now proceed to the discussion of marriage through the problems encountered by our selected couple. By the end of this discussion, let us answer this question. In fairy tale movies, as a couple gets married, the narrator usually says the line, and they live happily ever after. Do you think this is true? Going back to our couple, Mr. Rick and Mrs. Christie, they experienced several problems during their marriage, one of which is raising their daughter. So their troubles were rooted on the increasing unpaid debts when managing their payments became demanding since Rick's employer experienced bankruptcy and in turn left Christie as the sole breadwinner of the family. These circumstances further hampered their marriage due to the continuous argument about finances, accumulated anxieties, damaged ego, and varied notions on marital roles. What's worse is that their marriage was driven to the edge because Rick was tempted to commit adultery. Oh, if that was the case, how did they handle the issues that challenged their marriage? If I were them, I wouldn't know what I'd do. Fortunately, their marriage was saved because their love prevailed despite the problems that surfaced. They were able to overcome those issues by approaching the problems in a different manner. What they did was they calmed themselves down and had an honest conversation about their finances, anxieties, roles, and the likes. Once they both admitted their faults and mistakes were forgiven, a resolution and strategy to get on a better financial footing were planned and decided. However, Rick requires greater effort to regain the trust of his spouse for her to cope with his partial infidelity. It's stories like this which makes you come back to the reality that life, particularly in marriage, doesn't only consist of rainbows and butterflies. To protect and forge unions to a greater extent, obstacles are necessary for couples to be conquered. So what can we do to guard our relationships? Well, my key takeaway from the story submitted today is that both couples have to discern and exercise careful scrutiny of a proper and acceptable progression of love, preparing not only their psychological aspects but also the spiritual and financial details before marriage. Only then can they achieve a strengthened relationship which can negate or minimize problems that can commonly be handled easily in the future. You are right. As for me, in order to protect our relationship, we must honor and respect our partner, meaning we are to always practice committing to our connection and work on improving it, more so in a union where there is only a you are for me and I will only be for you mindset. Additionally, bearing or having children changes everything, so marital duties should not only be focused on, but as well as fulfilling the obligations as responsible parents. This is only right for the ideal intimate community of life and love that God envisions. With all the duties people are bound to, apart from familial or parental responsibilities, it would be hard to imagine maintaining a relationship, which is why married couples prefer to divorce when problems arise. 
However, conducting proactive measures and confronting these issues are the optimal choices to attain a better and healthier relationship, one that is secured from risks and threats that may harm the promised partnership between a man and a woman. Finally, what would be the answer to our question? Is the phrase, and they live happily ever after, true? If you did listen to today's episode, you know fully well that this phrase is not true at some certain extent. Challenges and problems won't stop from coming into our lives just because we got married. In fact, the problems a couple encounters during marriage are more serious than the problems encountered prior to marriage. It is only human to feel negative emotions. But why at some certain extent? This is because if your marriage is built upon a strong bond between you and your partner, regardless of how difficult your situation is, you'll always find happiness within the relationship and your family. This ends today's episode of Love Talks. Thank you very much.